Oh, you were there for that, okay. The ancestors of the Belmont family are doomed to confront... Uh, I started reading too late. Who should I go with? Should I go with the guy that has the pole arm or the whip? I have absolutely zero preference. So just let me know. Weapon, vampire killer. That sounds very efficient. Abraham, thank you very much for hitting that like button. I appreciate it. Thank you. What do you guys think? Should I go with the whip guy from Texas? John Morris, the most generic name of all time? Or should I go with Eric Lacard? Is it the Alcard Spear from Segovia, Spain? I think I'm gonna go with the Spear guy. It's something a little different. There's so many Castlevania games with whips. Okay, cool. Thanks, Abraham. Are you new to the stream? Nice to have you in, if so. Ruins of the Castle Dracula. Ooh, man. That's a nice backdrop. That looks sweet. Shining Force 2. Yeah, I, for I, for I forget about that, Jason. You're a big fan of, like, strategy, tactical games, right? I need to like, okay, so you can step up, diagonal, okay, you can go down, you can charge it? Is that what's happening? What does that do? Oh, what? That's sick. That's amazing, okay. The graphics in this game are phenomenal. Back button and move left, right, he'll swing around. Oh. <laughs> that's a nice... That's a nice animation. I like that animation a lot. That makes me extremely happy. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This might be my favorite Castlevania character ever. I like the the main character from Aria of Sorrow. That's one of the only only ones I've actually finished. Yeah, Ghouls and Goblins, it's the same developer, Konami. Oh wait, no, no it's not. Ghouls and Goblins is Capcom. So Castlevania, these games, the original, like, five of them, the first, like, five, were all kind of like this, like, relatively linear action platformer games, where you go through you know, a castle and you go kill Dracula, basically. Uh, but now, the or not now, but the most recent games in the series after Symphony of Night and all the Game Boy Advance games, those have been more like labyrinths, kind of, like Metroid. So that's why you will often see games re referred to as Metroidvanias, uh, because Metroid and Castlevania kind of invented the whole run around a maze-like game until you figure out where to go genre of platformers. I'm not a big fan of Metroidvanias as they exist 
in the modern game industry because they're super repetitive and they involve lots of backtracking. But the first few Castlevania games aren't like that. They're more linear. Just a couple weeks ago, I played through the original Castlevania on stream, and that was a ton of fun. I loved it. It was super good. I hadn't played that game in years, so it was really cool getting to play the original and seeing kind of where it all came from. And I've never played this one. I think I played it once on stream for like 10 minutes or whatever. Alright, bro. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Aaron, what's up, man? How's it going? Thanks for hitting the like button. I've never played any of the Shining Forest games, but I always hear they're very good. Jason, thank you for hitting the like button. Much appreciated, my friend. This game really has excellent music. Oh, one thing I'm noticing... Oh, Aaron, thank you for hitting the share. Thank you for that. One thing I'm noticing is that you don't regenerate health at the end of a boss fight like you did in the first game. That makes me very sad. I don't know how to feel about that. I haven't found any chicken. Where the chicken at? Ah, oh, crap. Hang on. Wham! Wham! Okay, that's not working very well. You love Castlevania? That's awesome, Abraham. What's your favorite one? Oh, that was just a mini boss? Oh, that's why. Okay. Well, I need some health pretty bad right now. Oh, that's just like holy water or whatever. Wow. The spike platform really did me dirty like that, huh? Okay. So I noticed that whenever I, lo I lost my life just now, I just went back to the room that I'm already in. If I were to lose all of my lives, would it put me back at the very beginning of the game? Or would it just put me back at the region? Like after that mini boss, would I just pick up from here? Or would I pick up from like that first room, basically? Got to stay longer at work. All good, man. Nope. Nope. Get out of here with that. Nope. Crap. Really? Come on. There we go. <laughs> Can you turn back over, please? Really? Oh, okay. That works. Come on. There we go. Got him. I've heard good things about the DS Castlevania games. I got the Advanced Collection as soon as it came out on Switch, but I haven't had a chance to play them yet. I played Aria of Sorrow like via emulator a while back, 
and I enjoyed it. But I would love to play it properly on the Advanced Collection soon. So many games I want to get around to playing. I have played... I can't talk. I have played Super Castlevania 4 on the Switch. Rolling a 12 on your, on your D20 roll is not is not great, but it's also not terrible. Not, not too bad there, Aaron. This game really must have one of the best soundtracks on the Genesis, because it's, it's just so good. Okay. Why are you getting so close to me, dude? Back up. Back up, homie. Get out of here. No, let, me, let me try it. I'm gonna hit you with one of these. Nope. Let's go. Come on. I've almost got him. Got him. Ooh, man. I only have a few hits left. That heals me, right? Yeah. Uh, stage one clear. Does everyone appreciate my uh, my Metallica shirt here? I think it's pretty great. Uh, let's hit a save seat. Don't mind if I do real quick. If anyone has any other requests, feel free to drop them in the comments. If there are other Genesis games that you would like to see. Oh wait, I forgot. Jason, are you still here? If you're still here, Jason, I'll play Shining Force 2. I'll at least play the first few minutes of it. Metallica is your favorite band, Aaron? Oh, look at the reflection in the water! How? How did they do that? On a Sega Genesis. That looks so dope. I don't know if I would say... Met oh my god. I don't know if I would say Metallica is my all-time favorite band, but they're definitely way up there. For sure. Certainly in the conversation. I mean, I have no personal experience, Aaron. But I can certainly imagine Metallica as the kind of band that um, would probably help you get through deployment. Just based on their lyrics and what their songs are about. Yeah, that's definitely true, Abraham. I grew up on the Sega Genesis. I loved that system so much as a kid. I just, I didn't realize until I got older that I apparently didn't play a lot of the most popular games, is what it seems like. Because I know this is one of the more popular ones, but I, I, n I never even had realized that the Genesis had a Castlevania game until I was probably in my 20s.